Check this out. The sun wears a corona, crown of thorns, or halo. The sun walks on water. When watching the sun rise in the morning or set at night, the moment the sun touches the water of the sea is known as Jesus walking on water. This is one of the occult meanings of the biblical story of Jesus walking on the water. The sun's followers, helpers, or disciples are the 12 months and the 12 signs of the zodiac or constellations through which the sun must pass. The sun at 12 noon is in the house or temple of the Most High. Thus, he begins his father's work at age 12. The sun enters into each sign of the zodiac at 30 degrees. Hence, the son of God begins his ministry at age 30. The sun is hung on a cross or crucified, which represents its passing through the equinoxes. The vernal equinox being Easter, at which time it is then resurrected. Interesting. The crucifixion and resurrection of Christ are both metaphysical concepts. Supposedly, Christ was crucified in the East, crucified in a location called Calvary. Once you translate Calvary in Greek, you'll get the word Golgotha. Golgotha in Aramaic means skull. Now, supposedly they say he was crucified on a skull-shaped hill, but really and truly, Christ was crucified to the skull of man. Christ was crucified. He was nailed to our mind. The resurrection in itself is also a metaphysical concept because Jesus supposedly resurrected in the East, but there was no East that he resurrected in. He resurrected in the East part region of the brain. If you get a map and you get a compass and you put it on, you'll see that east points to the right, specifically pointing to the right hemisphere of the brain. Christ awakens when you activate the right hemisphere of the brain, tapping into the intuition, the holistic knowledge, creativity, and compassion. Like previously stated, Jesus being the son of God is a metaphor for the actual son. That's why you always see a son behind the head of Christ and why Christians go to church on Sunday. Jesus' death is also metaphorical and symbolic. Jesus died at age 33 representing the 33 vertebrae that interlock the human spine. Jesus' 12 disciples is a double metaphor. First, Jesus' death led to the takeover of his disciples spreading the message. The same way the spine leads to the skull. Inside the skull is what? The human brain. The human brain has 12 cranial nerves that control the function of your consciousness. The 12 Cranial nerves use neurotransmitters in the brain to spread the message of the mind for your bodily functions and senses. Second metaphor, the 12 disciples also represent the 12 astrological signs that surround the sun, or in this case, the sun, S-O-N, of God. Christ in this case is being used as the highest level of human consciousness, some call it Christ consciousness, basically elevating yourself to God's status through the understanding of the stars in your mind. Jesus, peace. Put your head back in the sun for a minute and imagine 12 dudes sitting around you. <laughs> and there you are at the Last Supper, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you got 12 dudes, each of them in four clusters of three. That's the four seasons mm. and 12 months evolving around the sun. It's an explanation of a solar drama. Mm. Sacred science being taught to ignorant human Europeans who didn't have a clue. That's all. Mm -hmm. You know, it gets deeper than that. Because when you break down the whole story of Christ, it's trying to tell you what the power of love is. Mm -hmm. But love comes as a result of knowing thyself. How can you love what you don't know? Mm -hmm. You understand? When you see people out there killing each other, they're killing themselves. Mm -hmm. You can kill another person because you don't have no love for them. And if you can't have a love for the other person, it means you have no love for yourself. If you love yourself, you see yourself as the other person. That's 